the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. We can have a look at them now. Hart keeps goal. Cahill, Smalling, Klein, Shaw, Choncho Shelby, Milner, Delph, Oxlade Chamberlain, Sterling, Rooney, tasked with leading the line. So it's down to business here. Choncho Shelby. Klein. Delph. And it's Sterling. Look forward. What does he try from here? Now it's Rooney. Well, they could break here. Now it's Sterling. Just the goalkeeper to beat. There it is! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. That has brought the house down. What a wonderful hit. Is it just me, or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. England go ahead, one goal to the good. Sterling, now it's Rooney, and the counter is on, and he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Just about here, the collective sigh there, they know they got away with one. It's Sig Torsen. Sig Torsen going full steam ahead down the left flank. Goal kick. No, no, I stand corrected. It's a corner. Strong punch. It's a loose ball. England scoring in the first ten minutes to give them a 1 0 lead. He's off on a marauding run. And yet another chance goes to waste. Well, I wonder if their profligacy will rebound on them somehow. You know, they're very much on the up here, and yet they can convert a string of very decent opportunities. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. Oh, he's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. It's Goodmanson. Thrust towards the front line. Dashing forward at pace. 
A real chance to break. And Sterling! That is wayward. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter-attacking strike. It was so direct. Sterling. Try from distance, gave it a go, but off target. Well, that was a very decent shot from distance, you know, a little less strength, and it might have just dipped under the bar. Good effort, though. Sterling, his goal scoring skills have already been evident. So what now? And it's Sig Torsen. Klein tries the route one option. Sterling on a strong run down the right. Sterling. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Sigurdsson. Sterling. Defenders on the back foot. Sterling. He's got away with one there. has crossed the line and it's a throw and there is the half-time whistle well you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too they work tirelessly for me England are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead here we go again 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Goodmanson. Forward it goes. Rooney tries running with the ball at his feet. And now they can launch a counter. And it's Rooney. In by Rooney. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Great ball, now the shot. The world at his feet, Raheem Sterling. Two up and threatening to pull clear. A oh, high quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. England have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Smalling goes long and forward. 
A real chance to break. Rooney! A wonderful effort all by himself. Well, he knew he needed a better angle to get a shot away, and I suppose at least he showed the best option, just didn't come off. England have a sub ready to come on. We've got amongst the goals here, and now he takes his leave. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Sig Torsen. Greatest of balls. Milner. Shaw. Oxley Chamberlain. Get into a good position, but he may need to hold things up. It is a corner. Safety. Goodmanson comes forwards. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. There's some activity down on the touchline. Seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. They are rampant! And surely that settles it. Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. Well, the technique generates the power in that situation, and once power is assured, any goalkeeper's up against it. Be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Substitution for England. Tick Torsen. England are closing in on a comfortable win. Now it's Sick Torsen. Sig Torsen passes it through. Wonderful quick feet. Looking for a decent ball in. Oxley Chamberlain hurtles into the tackle. Up for a throw. Choncho Shelby. Hoops it upfield. Now it's Walcott. Now it's Rooney. Rooney. It's Rooney! Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Away from immediate danger. And it's Sick Toss. Klein. 
Rooney is on the back foot, looking to force his way through. Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. England, comfortable winners, a virtuoso display, utterly one-sided. Your final thoughts, Jim? I think when we look back at that, the, the early goal proved so decisive. I think scoring.